blessings and welcome forward once again yeah to all takes remake and you know there's some things that's been on my you know inner being and i want to just say it in a few moments that i hope i'm not you know intruding you know oh look at that wow that's a little bit of you know nature that came on to me look at that unique isn't it yeah <laughs> beautiful right yeah so this is it working with source not by force explain jerome explain great i will explain explain okay most times we become so educated the powers of the abilities of man has been magnetized amplified by these great you know expropriation of nature and out picturing in terms of machine and the technology that the thoughts of mind has created in the technology of manifest things like you know computers 3d printing and all these modular ideations that have now become you know the ipod the computer and you know these colliders that are breaking down um these energies looking into neutrinos you know, so when man looks at the force of nature in himself i'm talking he then begins to do things by force not source he then says i can change the course of the river and it will have no consequences because i know how by force to use as much matter the movement thereof to a particular placement as possible to shift that course so i can build my grand idea and it subsists for a generation but of course nature takes its course and source is always hallelujah more mighty so how do we work with source versus working with the force of human nature well number one everything has a rhythm a circadian a vibrational frequency some call it 432 megahertz or 432 megahertz as we have loved to say here in our spirituality 10.83 a cosmic resonance a music you know a fibonacci a sequence you know many great mathematician theorists philosophers great writers orators have discovered this in the entangled nature of seeing the true vibrational frequency the rhythm the movement of nature so if you do things by source usually it means that you would have been a part of something that already pre-exists hungry and that pre-existence would have created you so you are a product of the ripples that started before you so hence you would continue the ripple that have been in the ripple that you are the ripple that is to come is the same movement the same genetic patterns and codes and sequence thereof is going by the source religion and spirituality are markers are templates are reminders to our subconscious and our conscious and evidently our ways of life to consider the entanglement of things that man isn't absent or abstracted or divergent from his environment man is actually his environment and the force of nature within his psyche has caused man to look at things by his own will to then configure as he desires we can say the fallen information coming from the fallen angel we can say a plethora of distracting factors have created these schools of thought that have become ways of productivity and design mechanisms that is building the logos and building the manifest nature of the logos around us and we can see the outpicturing of these things in the conforming nature of our human psychology has been brought down to a certain level these are the same kind of programming and altering um, mental and logos based theorems that are now upon us you know and these things are by force because they're trying to augment reality into a certain um, edis, edict, um, ethos and idea ide ideation some kind of mentation that has been promulgated over time has been done and redone and care it, it is some form of chaotic control structured mechanism chaos theorem some kind of mathematical divergence um, qualitative you know um, analysis that has brought as a scale model and a such a scale model predicts so and so and so and so and such they are going ahead of time stream stepping I call it to set things into a certain ethos to prevent the obvious dissolution and delusion and just dissolving of all this built environment and built you know confusion that is the force of what deception is destruction is disturbance and hence disaster is and so restoration now is to return to source to synchronize in the syncopation of what is the aura of nature religions 
point to it, spirituality points to it, but is it just a mind control thing now where religions and spirituality is trying to fashion behaviors into what they think, the same didactic, pedantic behavior, system of control? Sources being attuned to that which is beyond us, always was, is, and is to be. Our conceptualizations of it in our own monotone reality, I have no dual spectrum reality, yeah? a multi-angular reality still could not totally design for us an understanding that would completely explain, that would make it explicable beyond a doubt as to what the source of being is and how the source operates in being. However, we see source as rhythm, as rhythmic patterns of the heartbeat telegraphics of that which in pictures out pictures vibrates, resonates the frequency spectrum that is the 639 that is so divergently unfathomable but yet what fragments we have is so charged with enough neurons, electrons, photogen based energy that this electromagnetic being can dance into the aura of eternity and not even know that we're dancing hey, into eternity. This is the beauty of Source. Never has it come forward to claim its own superb nature because its own superb nature is humble and so subtle, even of the subtlest of the subtle, yet it reaches so far beyond the measurable nature of our quantification. This is the awesomeness of Source. Force, on the other hand, has specific calculation it has pre-programmed, pre-understood and expected ambits, even when it's theoretic and theorem based. It has direct measurements because it is made from thought processes that are limited, that are measured, that are configured and conformed unto a moment in the time-space continuum. And no matter what the shifting on the timelines may be or the jumping on the timelines, the true act of equilibrium will always bring balance between the force of ignorance and the source of knowing. The force of unknowing and the source of being. So as we're being aligned to that which is awesomely divine, may we continue to resonate and to work from source of things with the source of things for the absolute beneficial nature of the absolute. That what we do is formed from that which is all. And from that allness we give all unto all. Receiving all from all, being thankful to all for all. All imbued, all received, all given unto. The well springs of grandeur and simplicity. And from humility and the hard work in transformation of source and soul into the practical functionalities of the forms and ways of our being let us be the source in manifestation for harmonization and not the recapitulation and the perpetuation of manipulation and control so we can be out of the trolling of those who seek to mind control and the mind controlling trolls will form themselves into harmony and find themselves into love and reformation as they go to the source, not the force of formation. And that is I and I in formation. Love and blessings unto you as you work with the source of being, escaping the magnitudes and the misalignments of the force of being. Source of being.